What's going on? I'm back with another artist. Stop listening to part six. So we're gonna jump it off with Young M A. Uh, Katora Mario Mario. We gonna put it right here. But um, yeah. So this one kind of hitting home because I used to be fond of her. I used to like her music um, when I was in the world and. You know, when you transition, you have to stop listening to certain music because it's 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 the influence behind the music that that makes you convicted in a sense. So reason being, she's not a good influence for the younger generation. She's not a good influence for uh, the women as well as the men because of the things that she rap about, things that she say how she present herself, carry herself. She's not carrying herself as a as a woman should. And I know some people might, you know, say, oh well, you know, she she is who she is in that community, you know, you're bashing them. So I'm not bashing anybody because of how much money they have. I'm not bashing anybody because of what they stand for. I'm literally stating facts. The fact of the matter is, if you're not living Christ-like, you're living in the world. You're living of a standard. You're living how the world is living. Like I said, it's kind of hitting home a little bit because after this video, the next couple artists I mentioned and show y'all you know you you gotta pray for these people for real you gotta pray for their salvation you want to pray that they actually get delivered from what they know is wrong and some of these people you know they claim to believe in god so many people claim to walk with christ and be christ-like and mimic these things but they're not they're not and I'm literally showing you guys and telling you guys that it's not right. It's not. It's not rocket science. You can look it up for yourselves. You can tell by the videos. You can tell by how it's portrayed in the videos, like with the dancing and the cussing. It's like a whole bunch of secular stuff going on. If it's not Christ-like, it's the world-like. And we need to be a part to from the world, not a parts of it, like with it, putting Christ and the world together. No, we need to be a part, set apart from it. And when you start to transition into Christ-like ways, you will start to see that people will start to distance themselves away from you. Uh, even, even family, you know, some family, I think she spoke on it too, you know, like I said, I pray for her and her family because she's going through some things and, you know, she lost her brother and stuff like that. We all lost some people and we all do lose people, but you can't let that be the reason why you fall away from Christ. You have to keep faith and keep the faith going and pray for grace, but you can't let that be the reason why you fall from God and now you think God is not real and now you walk in, you feel like you walking alone. It's not about how we feel at this point. It's about doing what God asks of us because we all have a purpose in life and that, that free will that he's, he, he allows us to have. We, he's, he's literally letting us choose what we want to do with that free will. So take it, you know, run with it. But you have to choose the right way. God say go straight, not left, not right, not up, not down. Go straight. And he'll hold your hand the whole way through. But some people just don't believe in it. He say, believe in me. You have to believe in him. You have to have that faith. I'm going to play a couple clips. So this is Young and May. As you can see, she's very into the rap game. She's an independent female lesbian rap artist. Um, she's into the drugs, 
lifestyle, fast cars, the guns, the partying, multiple women being in her video, dancing sexually. Um, you know, she she has a lot going on. And I'm not gonna play none of the music or the, the videos in the background due to the fact that YouTube flagged some of my videos already. So um, just just take a look at how she lives her lifestyle and how she portrays herself. It's not quite like. But as far as 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 far as these rappers and these singers and these artists that's coming out, these new ones, uh, Koyla, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I ain't, I'm tired of saying their names. They they I'm gonna start using their real names because these these rap names is not even their names. They're changing their names. Saying, thinking that they're gods by their name. We got to stop praising these people. We got to stop putting them on a higher pedestal like they're a god. And they're not. And they're really not. What's wrong with my phone? My camera. And they're really not, man. We have to do better as a people, as a whole. In the Bible, it says no man can come to the Father but through Christ, but through him. We we won't even make it if we don't accept Jesus in our lives. We have to accept him first. And if, you, and if none of these artists accept him as their Lord and Savior, none of them are going to make it. And that's just facts. I'm not bashing nobody. It's just facts. It's just straight up facts. So let's buckle down. Let's get it together. Stop listening to so much rap music. Stop listening to rap music, period. Like, it, it's it's negative. You want positivity in your life. You don't want to be negative. You want positivity in your life. Come on, now. So let's get it and go, man. I'm, I'm here with you. Comment below how you feel about listening to certain music. And let me know, and we can talk more about it. Let me know the next artist that y'all want me to do, and we'll go from there.